So this question looks like it's going to be a simplify question. I say that because simplify questions are typically very short, somewhere between one and three lines long, and contain either an equation, like what we have here, or an expression. So the question says, what is the sum of the solutions to the given equation, right? So solutions, plural, so we know we're going to expect more than one solution. So here's the equation, 2 absolute value x minus 9, close absolute value, equals 20. Whenever you're solving an absolute value equation, the first rule is to isolate the absolute value. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2. We do not want to distribute this across, okay? We want to isolate the absolute value. So this becomes absolute value x minus 9 is equal to 10. The next step after isolation is to rewrite the equation in two ways. The first way is as it already looks, just without the absolute value symbol. And the second is, again, close to how it looks, except you change the sign of the answer, right? So we have x minus 9 equals 10, which is kind of how it looked initially without the absolute value. And then we have also x minus 9 is equal to negative 10. The reason for this, by the way, is if the stuff in here, x minus 9, is equal to 10, then the absolute value of 10 is 10, right? So that's one way. But if the stuff in here, right, is equal to negative 10, then the absolute value of negative 10 is also 10, right? So we need to figure out both answers. What are, what are the two x values that make this work? One x value will make it equal to 10. Let's figure out what that is. We add 9 to both sides. We get x equals 19. So that is one x value that makes that equal to positive 10. But we can also find an x value that makes it equal to negative 10 because we know that that will also work because the absolute value of negative 10 is also positive 10, right? So negative 10 plus 9 equals negative 1. So here is the other x value. So what are we looking for? We're looking for the sum of the solution. So I'm just going to say, well, 19, I'll say plus because it says sum, and then negative 1, well, that's just equal to 18. So our answer here, the sum of the solutions, solution 1, solution 2, is 18.